music is so ominous. Ooh. <laughs> hey there, guys. Marisol Fable here, and welcome to a new game Tangle Tower. I'm really excited. Hey, uh, hi, Fred. Hey, hey, Autumn. Okay. I'm really excited to try out this game. Uh, I got it on sale uh, on the 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 Christmas Steam sale and uh it looks really cool. It's like it's it looks like it's a point and click mystery adventure, so I'm excited. It's, uh, I like my I like me some mystery. Okay. Let's jump into this. Ooh. I like the art style. Oh my gosh, this is looking so pretty already. Mystery is nice. It is very nice. Very, very nice. I'm excited. Okay, this art style is so cool. The beginning. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> How are you guys? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I... Today has been pretty chill for me. How are you guys? Wait, do I just click this? Oh, okay. Rainbow Tower. Mid-afternoon. Lake's Edge. Oh, I can click on. Okay. I, I thought I was still a cutscene. <laughs> Stayed up all night alone in a VC, so nothing to hear. I've been better, just tired, never work. Doing pretty well overall. Uh, I feel the tired and overwork thing. I feel like I've 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 been I have been like prepping so much stuff for for affiliate, and now that I finally have it. And uh, I, I got ever, like I got at least the stuff I wanted, the base stuff I wanted done. I feel like I just want to take a break before I like get back into like grinding out more like emotes and more uh, more more channel redeems and stuff like that. You know how I am. That's a big lake. Okay. It's kind of purple. Looks poisonous. Ooh. I think it's just water. Yeah. Water with poison in it. <laughs> I don't know who these characters are, but amazing. Okay. I, I didn't realize that if I clicked on stuff, it would immediately, like, talk. Okay, let's see. What's this? It's just an archway, but it seems a little ominous. Like, walking through it might give you bad luck. Too late. I know it's trying to tell me to click on her, but I want to explore a little bit. It's a bird bath. Is that just rainwater? Looks a little weird. The birds seem to like it. They're even singing a little tune. Whoever this guy seems to be very... He, he seems to be very, uh... Suspicious of any type of water. Literally the lake, he's just like... I think it's poison. Do, 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 do. Please don't do that. <laughs> oh, slurp, slurp, yum, yum. Do you remember to take care of yourself? <laughs> slurp, slurp, yum, yum. Okay. <sighs> slurp, slurp, yum, yum. Thank you for the slurp, slurp, yum, yum. Okay. I'm drinking. I I am uh, I, I'm sure. I, I'm just drinking water, but I'm sure whoever this this the the red-haired character what is probably suspicious of it. Like literally every time I like I clicked on the lake, I clicked on the bird bath, and both times he's like, I don't like the look of the water. It's like I have a feeling this dude just doesn't like water. That's the little boat we used to cross the lake. It's the only way on or off the island. Oh, that's not good. Especially seeing as I, I, based off of the description of this this game, it's 
it's a mystery of some sort. So when you have a mystery game and there's only one way in or out of the area you're stuck in, that's always a, that's always a catalyst for disaster. <laughs> Yeah, that's a red flag. Yep, yep, that's a definite red flag. <laughs> what a comforting thought. Yep. Okay. No, fine. I'll click on... It's telling me to click on this character, and I'm sure I'm going to actually learn who she is or who they are. You ready, Sally? Grimoire, I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. That is a cool name, Grimoire. That is an awesome name. Okay, so we got Sally and we got Grimoire. Just checking. Do you have the map? Uh, yeah, but it's basically blank. Did you read the case file? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. It's really not a lot to go on. Okay. Did you read it? So, I'm guessing they're detectives. They're like partners. In, in, uh, I almost said partners in crime, but that's the opposite. Yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. Oh, okay. Case file. Murder vic. Oh, it is a murder mystery! Okay. A murder mystery where there's only one, one way out of the location. One way off the island, and it's a murder mystery. Never a good sign. <laughs> Sally and Grimoire, nice names, yeah. Grimoire, I love the name Grimoire. I just love that word. I mean, I am a librarian, so I guess that makes sense. I just like books. I like books and anything, any words related to books. So that's an awesome name. I wonder if that's their first name or last name and they just like go by it. I've already started on theories. Ah, oh, yes. Well, we love the theories. And books are books are very nice. I love books. <laughs> Murder victim. Freya Fellow. Also really nice names. Died while painting a portrait of Flora Fellow. Location, Flora's Tower. Flora was present as she was posing for a portrait. Freya was found lying on her back with a sing single stab wound in her on her chest. No weapon was found in the scene, but the subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. Oh! The red color on the tip of the knife is not paint. It was discovered to be blood. Oh, in the painting? Oh, that's ominous! Oh, man! Also, that painting looks like the title screen! Like, the, the thing from the title screen! That's cool! Okay... Okay, interesting, interesting. I feel like it would be too easy if the murders, like the, the culprit, the, the, the culprit is the, the uh, subject of the painting, Flora. I feel like that would be far too easy. <laughs> Tangle Tower, a small painting on a scrap of paper. A few notes have been written on the back. Oh, I thought I was saying that the building was a painting, and then I realized it's saying that this is a painting of the building we're, we're at. Nowadays it goes by Tangle Tower, but it's actually a pair of towers connected by a mansion at the base. It is surrounded by a circular lake. The water is an unusual mix of colors. Oh, so that's what he meant by he thought the lake might be poisoned. The lake is enclosed by sheer pale cliffs. They're too steep and smooth to climb. Tangle Tower is currently home to both the Fellow family and the Pointer family. Okay. Oh, and that's it. We just got the case file and about the location. Oh, so this is how I can see the stuff I have. And... Oh, I guess this tells me about the people. The Freya Fellow, murder victim, location... Uh, okay, so that was just the stuff from the case file. How, how was Freya killed? Ah, yes. Thank, thank you. Such... Well, I mean, I guess that is what we're here to stop, find out. But <laughs> I was hoping for a little bit more information. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we have to enter the building to find out. Do, do I just click here to, like, move? It's a garden. I think. It's currently far away. Yes, that is true. Uh, we could walk closer to it. 
Oh, okay. Ready when you are. I guess that's why they call it Tangle Tower. Oh, because there's two towers. Is that what you're saying? Wait, let's see now. Oh, my first of all, that is so cute. I love their little tiny forms in the corner there. Oh my gosh. Okay, this. Oh, this is so cool. The map. What's this? Oh, that's for hints. We should head up to the crime scene. It's at the top of the tower. Okay. I have a quick question for you. Sure, what is it? Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Garden. Ooh, that's, that's a cool little fountain they got in the garden. Also, the music. Music suddenly picking up. When and why did you follow me? <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly when it was, but I do remember it was from one of Autumn's streams. And Autumn was uh, shouting out everyone in the chat. And I started following the other people in chat. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ah, yes. Wonderful, a smug emoji. That was so long ago. <laughs> okay, let's check out this fountain, because it looks so cool. It's a statue of some hideous, scaly, bipedal fish monster. How rude. Don't call them hideous. Playing a harp. It is playing a harp. Playing a harp. <laughs> what is the face? Hang on a second. Ooh, okay. Obviously, obviously look closer. If I'm given the option to look closer at something, why would I not take the option? I guess maybe if it might kill me. I guess you weren't following current events closely enough. Oof. <gasps> this isn't just a regular it's statue, a puzzle. is it? I love puzzles. Something tells me we're not going to solve this just yet. It doesn't seem like this puzzle can be solved. Oh, I guess I don't have the information needed. Which I guess makes sense. I literally just got here. But I love puzzles. So that's cool. Let's come back later. Okay. It must do something. It's got to. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Harp statue, an old weathered statue of an amphibious creature holding a large harp. Symbols are engraved on each of the harp's four column segments. Okay. That's cool. And it's full of the same weird water that was in the lake. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Although there is something in there. It's a cassette tape. Ooh! We found a thing in the fountain. This is funny. I like the fun. That is an amazing. The, the, the anime eyes and mouth. That is an amazing emote. Combo. Or it used to be. The cassette tape has been damaged by water. The ink on the label is blurred and illegible. I wonder if there's a way to repair it. Okay. Spooky. What do you think it's for? I think it's to scare away detectives. Is it working? No. <laughs> I, again, I love the, the voice acting in this is also great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Their facial expressions and everything. This is just very entertaining. I love this. Just a heads up, I'm gonna be kind of off and on due to errands, but I'll be listening. Fair enough, fair enough. Lurking is always appreciated. I can only sigh so much. I have a feeling, so my theory is that uh, the amphibious statue will open a door that will be inside the, like, bull statue's mouth. I also realize this is a point-and-click game, so I should probably turn on my cursor for you guys. 
so that you guys can see uh, what I'm pointing at. Let's see. I clicked the wrong. I clicked the wrong thing. Wait, this capture cursor. There we go. Oh, it's still not showing it. Huh. It's oh, there we go. Now it's showing. It. Wonder how it got cracked. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's an egg. Oh, a cracked egg statue. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now you guys can see my cursor. I feel like that will make things a lot easier since it's a point-and-click game. <laughs> so the clicking and the pointing part is very important to it. But yeah, my theory is that this statue here, or yeah, this harp statue is going to open up a door in this thing's mouth. <laughs> Ooh, gazebo, it's kind of pretty. It's a bandstand. Oh, a bandstand, sorry. Bit small for a bandstand. It is very small. It's a one man bandstand. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's check out this thing in the foreground. What animal is that? It's a, some kind of bird. Hawk. Bear lizard. Right, of course. A hawk bear lizard. I mean, owl bears from D D. Owl bears, anyone? Possibly. This is some garden. Do the plants all look a little strange to you? I mean, I really only see mushrooms and this tree. This is some garden. Okay, Do the plants blah, blah, blah. all look a little strange? It's quiet. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to say too quiet? <laughs> it's not. It's an appropriate amount of quiet. You know what? I, uh, I, uh, I, I can, I respect that, Sally. I respect that. Sometimes you just, you just want a little bit of quiet. I'm not that well versed in D&D &D things, but the name sounds familiar. Essentially what an owl bear is, is it's, well, it's what it sounds like. It's a mix between an owl and a bear. So it's about the size of like a big grizzly bear. And it's got like claws on, like where its paws should be, and it's got like the face of an owl and the beak and all that stuff. It's, is it, and it's like covered in feathers instead of fur. It's very, it's a very interesting creature. But I, I prefer, I prefer bug bears over, or I prefer owl bears over bug bears. Okay. Can I examine the path? It's a path through the garden, leads up to the house. I assume. Okay. It's quiet. Okay, blah, 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 blah. It's not an appropriate amount of quiet. Okay. Can I go anywhere else then? I think we're done. Or, yeah, I, I'm going to examine this one more time to see if, if they talk about something different about these, like, claw things. The pond has little stone feet. Aw. Yeah, seems a bit superfluous. Come on. Leda is cute. You are superfluous. <laughs> Sally just became my favorite character. <laughs> Can its head still do the 180? I actually don't know. But honestly, I next time I have an owl bear in my campaign, one of my campaigns, I'm going to have it do a 180 head spin just because of that. Because I never actually thought about that. And that would be a great way to terrify some players. <laughs> you know, just ho you know, just house rule it. House rule it. I like even if even if it can't, even if the rules say it can't, house rule it. It's allowed to. Okay. So here, oh, that looks like a door. Yeah. Okay. So we're finally entering the. Tangle tour. The Tangle tour. Oh. What? Oh, there's an O on the floor. Oh yeah. Tangle tour. Tour. Okay. We've got bird cages over here. Little bird feeders. How oh. do you know they're for birds? Bird feeders. They look like cages. I don't know if that's feeders. 
Also, that's kind of creepy, the idea that it might not be for... Excuse me, for birds. Why build a house here anyway? I'm sure they had their reasons. Do you think he'll start to move if we try to go inside? That would be terrifying, but awesome. No, I think he'll just silently judge us. Man. That is, that, I'm wondering who that is a statue of. Hopefully we'll find out. Looks like someone tried to chop it down, but then gave up. Can you blame them? It looks like the tree is growing into the house. Or it either that or this is like a root coming down from up on top of the house, which is interesting. That leads back to the gardens. Okay, so that's how I get back to the garden. A path leading towards the stone square. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Can I go there? Yeah, okay, so I can go inside or I can go to wherever this place is. Okay. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? It did all of that with just those two bells? Interesting. I don't think that's how th those kinds of bells work. It's a little melody. Oh. Oh, there's three of them, but still. Was I supposed to remember that? Wait, I'm gonna re-listen. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? Dun, 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 dun. It's a little melody. Okay. Don't think it's locked. Oh, that means we can just walk straight in, right? I'm pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. I mean, we did ring the doorbell. But before we go into the house, I kind of want to explore what this is here. Let's head to the crime scene first. Ah, oh, come on! It's at the top of the West Tower, I think. Come on, let me investigate more outside. I want to get to know the area. <laughs> This game not allowing me to, to get sidetracked. How rude. I like being distracted. <laughs> That's my style. It's on brand. Let me have my brand of getting distracted. Grand Hall. Yeah, oh, this thing looks cool. Like, it's like an aquarium. Now it's a big glass tube filled with water. I have a shirt about being distracted. There. You know, sometimes you just want to be distracted. Oh, I just realized the two flags, the F and the P, as it was saying on the, the, the case file, that two families live here, the Floras and the Pointers. There are weeds in there and sand. It's, it's an aquarium. It's an aquarium? Could be. Except there's nothing living in it. So a terrarium? Anymore. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it, so Sally went in a far more ominous direction than I did. <laughs> I'm over here like, it's a terrarium! Sally's like, there's nothing living in it anymore. <laughs> picture of squirrel squirrel yes like the the joke from up that is such a good movie there's a lot of egg like uh egg iconography here because even in the garden there was the cracked egg statue and then here there's two eggs and then there's eggs on the staircases and then there's an egg here and then an open egg here this is interesting actually wait Stairs. That was not what I wanted you to look at, Grimoire. <laughs> Grimoire, I was asking you to look at the open egg statue. The one that's different. Also, I love his face. <laughs> I love the face here. Oh my gosh. I I want an emote. I need to make an emote of just it's me doing this face. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and uh because i love that <laughs> it's just such a good reaction 
Maybe they're just egg. They just like eggs. They are very. Yeah, you're right. They are very healthy for you. Eggs are, and I, honestly, I do like eggs. They're delicious. There's so many different things you can do with eggs. You can bake with them. You can put them in things, but then you can also do a lot of things with them on their own. You can have them like so many different styles. Oh, I just realized the music. <laughs> I love, oh my gosh, the music in this is so good. This game so far, I'm loving it. The art style, the music. I'm very intrigued by the story. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay. Finally, we get to investigate a murder in a spooky mansion. Okay. It's not that spooky, really. Don't ruin this. <laughs> Sally's like, listen, this is why I became a detective. How dare you take this away from me? <laughs> a big letter F. Of course. Who doesn't hang a giant banner of their initial in the lobby of their mansion? This one has a big P. That's P probably important. How very P perceptive of you. Y you tried. <laughs> Finally, we oh, got okay, to okay. It's just the same thing. What's this? What is that? Thank you, Grimoire. <laughs> I think it's a family tree. Oh, sorry. They're not the Floras. They're the Fellows. Interesting. Oh, so the Fellows and the Pointers are connected by another family. Okay, so we got... Oh, sorry. I thought that I was about to say Flordual because I thought the F when it... The way they do the names here! Like that, that's hard. Lord Fellow, Lady Fellow. Selena Stonetop. There, I guess that must be like a sibling or something because based off this connection, Lord Fellow, Lady Fellow uh, have their kids Flint... Fellow and Felix Fellow. Interesting. So, Selena Stonetop, Felicia Fellow, Damien Dusk, Freya Fellow. So that Freya Fellow is the one who is got murdered. Fitz Fellow, Emily Everstone, Flora, Flora Remington. That was who. Freya was painting when she died. So then we have Lord, we have the Remingtons, who seem to connect the fellows to the Pointers. And so we have Lord Pointer, Lady Pointer, Percival, Pandora, Poppy, Penelope. What what is up with these families really liking their alliteration? We got because we got with the fellows. We got Flint, Felix, Fiona, Freya, Felicia, Fitz. We got on the pointer side, we got Percival, Pandora, Poppy, Penelope, and Buck. <laughs> they love their alliteration. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Got them tongue twister type names. She sells seashells by the sea. No, wait. Oh, there's a P one. What's the. It's a. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Hey. It's not locked. A door. Oh, what's behind it? A room. I'm guessing... Okay, so the stair will lead here to those areas. And then these. So... This is where we need to go to... That's where the, the murder happened. So we got the flora... Uh, tower, and we got the Pointer Tower. Or not the Flora, sorry. The Fellow Tower and the Pointer Tower. <laughs> Keep saying Flora, because that's one of the suspects. Stairs. Sally, check those plants for clues. Is soil a clue? I'm really sad. They're not talking about all the egg iconography. Like, every single time I've clicked anything egg-related, they're just... They, they just are ignoring it. Finally, we get to learn this. Okay, then. I think... Move on. Let's head to the crime scene first. It's at the top of the West Tower, I think. I know! I just want to get distracted and look at other things. Oh, we got some locked rooms, it looks like. 
Let's head to the crime scene. It's at the top of the West Tower. I'm guessing in the middle here is whatever's behind that, like, aquarium thing. Interesting. Interesting. Flora's Tower. There's the painting, so I'm guessing this is Flora. Ooh, more egg! More egg! Let's take a look at that painting first. Fine. Not letting me get distracted. How rude. I like... I want to be distracted. There it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Fillo. So, what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it? Looks that way. I was about to say it doesn't look like it's unfinished, but then I realized it's not halfway. She only had a little bit left to paint. At least she got the majority of Flora done. Freya was unable to finish the painting as she died sometime during the process. Flora appears to be wielding a knife. The red substance on the tip was discovered to be blood, which is very terrifying. I wonder if all of Freya's paintings are this creepy. Oh, yo! Maybe Animation! She never got to finish it. And there's something wrong with the crime scene. And something really weird about the murder weapon. Okay, wait. I'm gonna pause for a second. The character design is so cool! Oh my gosh! I love this! Oh my gosh. The art style, I was already, like, gushing over the art style earlier. But oh my gosh, these character designs! I love them! We didn't find a murder weapon. Ah, these character designs are so cool. Oh my gosh, I love this art style. This is so good. Oh, oh, this is like some Phoenix Wright shenanigans. Oh my gosh. I haven't played Phoenix Wright in so long. I actually haven't played a mystery game in so a while. Okay, so we need to put together something that will help us figure out how Freya was killed. Because Freya put it there, because Freya was going to eat it? What? Um, because it stabbed Freya. But Freya stole it, but it was removed from the scene. Oh! Yeah, from everything we saw there, I just realized, like, I was- It says, but it was removed from the scene. I just realized we didn't see a paint palette. Did we also see a paintbrush? Huh. A paint palette could- Like, especially a wooden paint palette, like a hefty one? could definitely be used to knock someone out. Like, if you have, like, a hefty wood wooden board paint palette, you could probably knock someone out with one of those. I'm not talking about those flimsy ones, either. Especially, like, because the one in this picture, that looks like a hefty, like, plank kind of paint palette. So maybe the paint palette was used to knock out Freya, but it was removed from the scene. A paint palette was used to knock out Freya Fellow, but it was removed from the scene. Nope. I thought I had something here. Was the painting somehow involved in the attack on Freya? Oh, okay, so... Huh. I just love because Freya was going to eat it is here. Like, I don't know what I, I what I would say Freya was going to eat. Uh, there's no more. Okay, yeah, this is it. So these are all the ones I have to work with. Hmm. Do, 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 do. So it's, it's trying to, the clue is telling me that there's a, the painting is somehow about wait. I know that's all wrong. I didn't have anything there. I was I didn't mean to take a hint. I meant to try and turn off hints. I was wondering if I could turn off the thing at the top. <laughs> Cuz I was like I was I was hoping I could make it harder for myself. <laughs> okay, I'm not allowed to. 
But that also tells me was used to knock out, but Freya stole it or not supposed to be used, I guess. Uh... Poss maybe this? Flora's paint portrait is holding up a knife tip with blood because Freya put it there? Are they trying to say that Freya used blood on the portrait on purpose, possibly? Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because Freya put it there. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. One thing. Okay, so I'm guessing Flora's painting is portrait is supposed to be there because they're saying the painting was somehow involved. So I only need to change one thing. Maybe it's this last thing, because everything else in this would make sense. I don't think it would make sense to say the portrait was knock used to knock out blood. It's not completely covered in it. So I'm guessing it's this last one. Because it stabbed Freya? Are they trying to say that, like, before she died, she painted the murder weapon into the painting to try and, like, tell, like, leave a clue? Actually, that, that does kind of make sense. That would make sense. How is the detectiving going? Uh, possibly good. I may have actually figured something out. Laura's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. Okay, I just would like to, first of all, Grimoire's smug face here. I love it. Secondly, I would like to say they still, like, even the correct statement was still, like, uh, robotically said. They could have, like, recorded... The, the, the voice actor, like, saying that line, like, in full, because it's the correct one, instead of it being, like, like, piece by piece. But they still chose to have it be, like, like, uh, like, generated, like, the each thing generated. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, uh, the, there, there's a missed opportunity for, like, getting to have a little bit more, like, characterization with the way it's said. No, no swing-winging so far. So someone, I guess, swing-winged a knife into the murder victim's uh, chest. Murder victim, no, not Flora. Flora is the, is one of our suspects. It's what Freya. That's her name. The murder victim. Maybe because he's piecing it together. Oh, I guess yeah, that could make sense. You know what? That's fair. That makes sense. What? <laughs> Weird, huh? You think Freya was stabbed? by a painting no not by the woman from the painting but by the painting itself no i think that she mm -hmm. freya was standing right up by the canvas when she was killed there's blood on the knife it's the murder weapon right never but mind it's not actually a knife it can't stab See never mind i thought grimoire was being here? smart case closed the case is not closed and even if you were right where does that leave us? A painting can't be a murder suspect. An unfinished painting. I guess this is the next chapter. So that, I guess that was the intro uh, to give us like an idea of how the gameplay works here. I would just like to say, I think he was onto something. I think that Grimoire was onto something with the idea that possibly Freya painted the murder weapon that was used on her into her painting last minute to try and get pe get like to try and let people know like to help give a clue so I think Grimoire is onto something I just think he unfortunately got the wrong idea Those animations are smooth. And they are cool. I love the art style. The animation is so good. I have an idea, but I would need to know something else first. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let's continue. I guess this is the first official chapter. 
So how does this game work exactly? It's a point and click mystery uh, adventure game. So I just click on stuff and it tell it like I can inspect it. This gives me similar vibes to like the old, those Nan I used to I I've mentioned this on the channel, but I'm a huge fan of the Nancy Drew games. I've I've play I've been playing like the old Nancy like not like I've been playing the Nancy Drew point and click like mystery games since I was four, or like I've been watching my sister I I been wa I watched my sister play them my older sister play them like when I was like three, and then I started playing them when I was like four. Like, definitely not an age I should have been, like, playing them, most likely, because I remember, like, getting nightmares from, like, some of the stuff in those games. But I love them, because I love mystery games, and I love trying to solve this kind of stuff and see what I, if I can piece it together before the game gives it to you. These people seem to really like- they do really like eggs! Their lobby literally just has so many eggs in it! Like, there's so many eggs, and when I click on them, they don't inspect it. Finally, we get to invest. It's, don't ruin this. Like, you don't find anything weird about the amount of egg iconography in this in this mansion? Okay, let's let's explore the 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 room where Freya was murdered. Is this gonna become? Yep, it's uh. It's the, because we finished Owlboy uh, a couple of weeks ago. This is the new series uh, for the weekends. That scene might have confirmed what I thought. Ooh. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Is that an egg? Another egg, yes. There, there have been many eggs. An egg with bird feet. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. It's also covered in gemstones. What a completely ordinary object. Okay, it's gotta be a puzzle. It is a puzzle! I think it's a container for something. Those gems look like they come off. Ooh, oh, wait. Okay. Oh, never mind. Swap the positions of the jegs, gems, rotate the egg, and see a clue on the back. Okay. Nope. Did you check the clue on the back of I'm the I'm pretty egg? sure it explains where to put each of the gemstones. Okay. Wow, that's so convenient. Just tell me where to put everything. So this purple connects. So purple connects to yellow here. So that's... Okay, so yellow here, purple here. Okay, so this square looking thing, that's this one. And so there's a yellow on this end and a green on this end. Okay, this looks like a little building with a chimney. It's this. So I have the red there, which is correct, but there should be a blue on the other end. Uh, okay, this just curved line. That's this one. It needs a blue on the long end. And a purple on the short end. And then this one needs a this little, like, hexagonal kind of line. Eggs, interesting. What if the murderer is a chicken and it's killing people because they're eating the eggs? Man, that would be quite the twist. Well, the water does have multiple colors here, so who knows? Yeah, that is true. Yeah, the water here. They were ta kept talking about how the water here is really weird and how the grimoire thinks it's poisoned. Need a green on this end. And then the two pinks are connected. I got it. Why are you making that face if you got it? Grimoire, why do you look so scared? I love this face. <laughs> I love I love this one in particular. I'm impressed. Thank you, Sally. Did it unlock? What's in there? Nothing. Oh. Nothing? Well, I'm not leaving without a clue. 
and empty egg is a clue, right? Cool, we're taking the egg! Once unlocked, the egg can be opened. It's currently empty. The lining of the egg is soft, velvet-like material. The egg is supported on a stand made of brass. It rests on three feet with pointed claws. It looks kind of cute! Like, when it's open like that, it looks like a little, like, egg character. Like, like it's, it's a mouth, and it's gonna start talking like, Hey there, guys! Ah! It's like, like it's a mouth is currently open, like, going, <laughs> I don't know. Am I the only one who sees that? Like, I kind of can imagine, like, a tongue sticking. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Question, has the victim eaten an egg in the past 25 minutes? Uh, we don't know because the victim is not here because their body is gone already. And now I might have a motive. Ooh, Fred over here putting together some pieces, figuring out. Fred's got, got a theory, got, got a theory going. Interesting, interesting. Would you care to share with the class? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be like that. I, that was, but I don't mean to be rude. I just wanted, I just felt like my inner teacher coming out. But yeah, do you do you want to share your theory, or or uh, are you still figuring put piece in it together? If you say so. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. As long as you got, like, as, as long as it's not, like, you got, like, this is actually, like, sincerely you guys, like, forming theories and not someone, like, looking it up and then, like, being like, this is what it is. I'm fine with, I'm fine with, like, some theories here and there. I'm also fine with, like, joke theories, too. Damn victims with their but I'm dead excuses. <laughs> Murder weapon might be the paintbrush, because how it's weirdly sh- Oh! Supposedly, Freya was working on the painting when she was killed. Looks like she was still holding her paintbrush and palette when she fell. Oh, the palette is there. I didn't notice the palette was actually there at the, the crime scene. Okay. Yeah, it is a weirdly shaped paintbrush. It's got a very pointy end to it. Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. So there's, is that something, so they, they said that it, it's been confirmed that the blood on the knife in the painting is real blood. I'm wondering if the red on the paintbrush is red paint or blood, because I don't see red on her palette. Oh, wait, there is red on the palette. Yeah, okay, so it is paint. The palette has a variety of paints loaded onto it. The largest is a blob of black in the middle. The paintbrush is still covered with dried red paint. Interesting. Okay. Also, that looks a little bit more like a dark green than a black, but sure. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing that that just comes from because the style. This is a very like the the style of this game has some very vibrant colors. But you are right. That is a very interestingly shaped paintbrush. E e you're, you're right. It kind of. Like, it kind of does have its own, like, kind of daggerish shape to it. Like a crooked dagger. And the motive could possibly be because the water was poisoned? Interesting, interesting. We'll see. That, that, I, that, that's interesting. One thing is that I don't know if the water is actually poisoned. Because Rimwar just said it looks poisoned. He didn't actually, like, like, check. Oh, well, obviously, that would probably be a bad thing, because if it was poison, you'd die. But, uh, it, it is very interesting, because it's also the fact that the entire lake... <laughs> oh, the liquid nitrogen emote. Ah, uh, yes. It's interesting, but I don't see any blood on the other side of the paintbrush. It could have been cleaned. It could have been cleaned, but I do agree right now, I think, I think it's a nice thing to consider, but I think it would, like, we should look for more possibilities. Because it's like, it's, 
it's, it's on the list of possible murder weapons, but it would be, but I don't think like we can't like say it is that for sure. Okay. I do find it interesting so that they're saying the water looks like it's been poisoned, but the entire lake is that color. The entire lake that this, this, like, this island sits on is that weird shade of purple. So that would mean the entire lake is poisoned, if that's the case. Let's take a look at this gramophone. Was that a gramophone? I think so. Except it's got a tape deck instead of a turntable. Yo, wait, we got that cassette tape! It's also got a big crack down the middle. It plays cassette tapes instead of vinyl records. It's pointed towards the middle of the room. There's a noticeable crack running through it all the way from the horn down through the tape deck. Someone threw that cassette tape in the fountain that we grabbed. And, like, it therefore became, like, waterlogged and destroyed. Someone was trying to destroy a cassette tape. And this, possibly, maybe it was whatever was record. Maybe like, maybe this is like a like like one of those uh, old school cassette tape players that can also record it, but it's designed to look like a gramophone. So possibly, maybe it recorded what was happening in the room, and someone tried to destroy the cassette. Theorizing, just just that's just a little theory. If it was clean, why wasn't the painting side cleaned as well? Maybe to make it look like it wasn't cleaned. Like, to throw us off. But you are right. That is a little bit weird. I, it, it's just, I'm, I'm just throwing stuff out there. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing stuff out there. Obviously, like, it's not a for sure murder weapon thing. It is also interesting how, like, the crack- there is a crack going right down this gramophone. I wonder if it still works. What about the cassette tape? Yeah, it sure is. I think. Oh, there was a cassette tape in it that's also cracked. The cassette tape has a crack down the middle. There's a handwritten message on the label, to Freya. Okay, interesting. I wonder... What it is? Is it a mixtape? Is it one of those, uh... Those, like, mixtapes that, like, that has, like, all the, like, songs that makes a person think of them? Though, I think that's kind of a cute thing. The idea of, like, a cassette tape mixtape. I have a, a cassette tape, like, player. And then a bunch of, like, old cassettes and some blank ones. That I still, to this day, sometimes use to, like, record stuff when I'm writing music. Uh, just for funsies. Do you think it still works? The gramophone? Yeah, we could give it a go. Yeah, let's try it. This is a pre-song. It's piano music. The recording of piano music. It plays for a short while before stopping. This is very pretty. I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a beautiful song. Man, I said it earlier, but the music in this game is so good. Don't think the brush was used to neutralize the victim, but it might have been put there to look like it did. That that's fair. That's or look like one. That's fair. This is beautiful. I just want to quickly scrub through it and see if there was anything more. 
Oh, I didn't like how at the end it crumbles. Oh, that's interesting. At the end, it gets all crumbled. Just checking to see if there's any backwards messages. You never know. That was not how my ears like. Yeah. Okay, so no backwards messages. Let's check out the waterlogged tape, see if it truly is so too destroyed. Sounds very staticky. What an ambient sound. Someone humming a tune. There's a little bit more that I can't make out. Okay, that didn't crumble at the end. Meaning, like, I wasn't sure if that was just the sound of this gramophone it makes when it ends the cassette, but that one didn't crumble at the end. That means that's specific to the piano music one, which is very interesting that it, it just suddenly crumbles at the end. It, like, it's as if someone, like, tried to destroy something as, like, at the very end of the recording. Okay. And I'm going to check for any backwards messages. <laughs> Okay! I didn't like how that one sounded backwards. That one was scary. Okay, let's eject that. I think we're fine. Really? No, yeah, no, I didn't like that one backwards. I still wanted to, like, listen to it in completion backwards just in case it, like, suddenly it was like, Hello there! I am the killer! <laughs> But like, oh my gosh, I did not like that. That was terrifying. Oh gosh. Okay. The outline of Freya Fellow. Looks like she fell onto her back. Okay. There's a single patch of blood right in the middle. I'm guessing that's where she was stabbed because it did say she got stabbed in the chest and that's around the chest area. No real signs of a struggle. That's weird. What? Her feet were right up by the canvas. So? So she was probably standing really close to the canvas when she fell. Let's check the case file again. Oh, she mu that means she was still painting when she was stabbed. Possibly. Uh, okay. Is anything added to it? No, nothing that was added to the case file. Yeah, it's not letting me scroll down, so... Oh, wait, what's... Oh, I guess this just lets me get a better look at things. I don't know what it's asking me to look for here. There it is. The unfinished port. So, what? Freya was okay, killed. Okay, because I we already heard about this. I already did that one. Freya's painting supplies. Small glass pots of red, yellow, blue, black, and white paints. The glass pots are all cracked down one side. Like the gramophone. Wait, that's interesting. Why is everything, like, cracked down the middle? Uh. 
Hello, I am the killer. How come? Oh, yeah, what I was saying, I was hoping for a message in the cassette tapes. <laughs> I just noticed something. What What did you just notice? It's, yeah, Freya, Freya's the, Freya the one who was killed. Freya's the victim here. Uh, the I believe the police have already taken her body, so we can't examine it, unfortunately. We are just detectives trying to solve it. Jiggle, 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 do, 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 In the middle of this really, really, like, serious murder case. Jiggle, 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 do, 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 I love, I love this little, this little jiggly pudding. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Thanks for the redeem. Thanks for the redeem, Captain Zero. <laughs> Do you think you can put up the picture of the crime scene? This one or the the case file? The case file? Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, this one. Is there anything you want me to zoom in on? Very interesting. No, that's good? Okay. The cursor out of the way. Together, we will make, we will all together be, make the best detective. We can solve this. You are right. The blood isn't there. Okay, that is interesting. Crack down the middle. The killer must have used the colors, but had to break them because it was very hard to open. Who would have a hard time opening stuff with chicken? <laughs> Tyronius is just over here, like, really hooked on the idea that it had to have been a chicken. There's a... Trail from the paintbrush. The outline of this okay, blah blah blah. Okay, so check the case file again. Okay, you are right. Supposedly, Freya was working on the looks like didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. Ah, uh, why aren't you letting me? Why are? Oh my gosh, did. This might have this might be one of those things like cuz this sometimes happens when playing like stuff like Ace Attorney as well where like you're like if you notice something too far ahead they won't address it until like it's time to and so then it's just like no you're wrong because we haven't figured it out yet like the characters in game haven't figured it out yet so until they figure it out you're technically wrong which can be kind of annoying when you're like ahead of it, but you are right. There's a trail from, from this the what the supposed blood stain to the paintbrush. Maybe that's fake blood. Now there's another thing. Oh, what's the other thing? Man, Fred is on top of this with the figuring stuff out. The whole room has a strange feeling about it. Yeah, there might be a reason for that. Are these- is, is this just going to give me a talk about the paint supplies again? Freya's painting yeah, it supplies. Is, okay. It's the same thing. How did the blood get there if she fell on her back and was stabbed in the chest? That is a good point. I was thinking of the idea of, like, blood falling down and then seeping behind her. Or possibly maybe the stab wound going all the way through. But you are right. That is very odd. Okay, so Flora is here. So we can talk to Flora. Oh, hello. Flora. Hello. Oh, that hair is majestic. Hey, sorry to barge in. I'm sure you're still in some distress. We need to ask you a few questions, I'm afraid. Did you witness the murder, Flora? 
Nothing. What do we do? Not sure. She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. For now. For now? Okay, what are you going to do? Okay. Hmm. How does this work? What's this game? Is there anything you'd like to tell us, Flora? I don't really know anything about you at all. I think that's the way she likes it. We'll just have to ask other people about her. Yeah, okay. Okay. Freya was painting your portrait yesterday. Oh, this happened right? yesterday. Okay. So it's only been a day. Was this something you had planned with her ahead of time? Was there something special about yesterday? Did you talk to Freya at all while she was painting you? I think this might be too many questions at She's once. She's not going to answer us, is she? Nope. But at least we can say we tried. Is she... I'm, I'm wondering if it's the fact that... Is, is, does she talk? That's the other question. Flora, you were definitely in the room at the time of the murder. Surely you must have seen something? Can you tell me anything about what happened to Freya? We don't have She's a file on her. pretty suspicious, if you ask me. So I, I know. Maybe she really doesn't know anything. How is that possible? The subject of the painting is doesn't always have to be there when someone is painting them. Sometimes they just pose for a while, and then the 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 painter, once they get the sketch down, or can be like, "Okay, you're good. And I'll call you again if I need you." So it is possible that she wasn't there during the time of the murder. So it looks like there's one more thing I can talk about that's locked. It's also interesting because there's the question: we don't have a file on Flora herself, so there is all, that also begs the question if. Like, cause like she could be mute and maybe that's why she's not responding. And maybe, I, I don't know though. I have no idea. And now we have another, a second person. Were you close with Freya? Oh, we can ask them How about- How are you two related? Did you kill Freya? Grimoire. <laughs> Grimoire! I don't even think she's listening. <laughs> oh, she's listening. I'm sorry, that was great! Grimoire just being like, Did you kill her? <laughs> Love Grimoire, you know, he's a he's very straight to the point. How did the blood get there if she fell on her Oh wait, we already read that. So is the blood on the ground confirmed as real blood? Without the she it felt lonely. Oh my gosh. Uh we have not confirmed whether or not the 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 blood on the quote unquote blood on the ground is real blood. The only blood we have confirmed is the blood on the knife in the painting is real blood instead of actually red paint. Hey, what is this game? We're playing Tangle Tower. Uh it's a murder mystery game, point and click adventure style. Anything we should know? Any hobbies? Besides staring out the window? I love Grimoire's face there. He just, he has the best facial expressions. This, 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 this art style truly is wonderful. Okay, so I can ask about this stuff. So let's ask about the portrait. Did you ask Freya to paint this? Or was it her idea? What Flora's is that you're holding in the painting, Flora? Some people have been saying it's a knife. Interesting. Flora. This is your egg? Why do you keep it locked? Is there supposed to be something in there? Or is it always empty? Okay. Okay. Is this your gramophone? Do you know why it's cracked? So for it looks like the majority of the stuff she has nothing to say, and for some of them, some of them they start a conversation. Okay, so we've tried to talk to her about everything, and we have gotten nothing. That's great. That is our currently number one suspect. And she is either refusing to talk to us or cannot talk to us. Also, I just realized the door on the ground means that it the door on the ground is broken. 
meaning someone broke into here. I like the Mr. Markiplier hair. Oh yeah, Grimoire's hair. It does have kind of a Markiplier feel to it. We already solved it. Oh, I didn't mean to. Freya's painting supplies. Yeah. I, I meant to pull up his picture again. Yeah, he does kind of got that Markiplier hair. You could at least give us a nod or something. Yeah, that is the other thing. Like, she's not giving us anything. Like, just occasionally the wind is blowing in through her hair. It's very interesting and suspicious, but it's, it's it feels too easy for her to be the murderer. It feels far too easy. And as far as I'm aware, this is, this is the only mystery in the game. It's not like there's multiple mysteries. Okay, let's go explore other areas of this house. I want to explore more of the gardens. Because we found that one cassette tape outside. Oh, new person! Who are you? I like your cape! First, let's there's a metal plaque stuff. on the bench. Is there a message engraved on it? I think there was at one point, but someone scratched it off. Oh. Oh, that's the house in the distance. I was like, what's that? That's the statue in front of the house. And then that's the bandstand. Okay. Oh. Hey, this looks like a dragon with its head cut off, which is kind of terrifying. Please don't cut off my head. It's a sea serpent. Turned into stone by a wizard. Ah, if you say so. Thanks, Sally. What happened to its head? Beheaded by the same wizard. <laughs> Sally's just out here creating a story. But Flora has a chicken pet. <laughs> Tyronius just really stuck on the idea that chicken is the culprit after all the egg iconography. I'm going to call it, without knowing the story, the killer is someone who wanted the, to paint and got jealous. <laughs> got jealous of the of Freya's painting skills. It was like, ah, now I kill you because you can paint and I can't. Okay, let's see. Who is this? I, I noticed this. So the, the fellows all have a lot of green iconography around them, like green, yellows and stuff. The pointers had a lot of purple and red, so I'm going to guess that this is one of the point someone from the pointer family, not the fellow family. Wow, nice cape. You're not fellows or pointers. I'm sure I shall immediately regret asking. But who are you, and what is your business here? I'm Sally, and this is my sidekick Grimoire. <laughs> a private detective, Grimoire. Really. You're a detective. I'm sorry, the fact that Sally said Grimoire is, uh, is, 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 is her sidekick makes it so funny. I, I'm pretty sure based off of, like, the fact that, like, when we checked the case file, it was when Grimoire said, when, when Sally asked, hey, Grimoire, have you checked the case file yet? And he's like, no, I'll check it on our way into the house. And then we got to look at the case file. I'm guessing we're playing as Grimoire. So, interesting. Has to be a chicken. <laughs> Obviously. It just has to. This is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> Who are you, anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. What? Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. Hey! Grimoire's an awesome name! Pick. You're not on the Freya Fellow case, too, are you? That is classified information between myself and my client. Oh! Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Oh. Interesting. Right. Now, if you would, <laughs> I have work to do. Okay. It's not in my interest to discuss personal details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <sighs> Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you been at Tangle Tower? 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Wow, okay, so that was before the murder. I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. 
What crime are you? How'd you get that scar? It's cool. Sally's like, I want to know. You really think so? <laughs> oh! <laughs> being like, my scar is cool. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, also, that's interesting. Hawkshaw has been here since before the murder, because we know the murder only happened yesterday. Therefore, Hawkshaw has been here since before that. So Hawkshaw isn't Hawkshaw is isn't investigating the the uh the Freya murder case unless someone tipped off Hawkshaw before it happened. Sally you backstabbing. Wait, backstabbing. Sally suspect Sally. Sally, but but uh, not Sally. Freya wasn't stabbed in the back. Freya was stabbed in the chest. Wait, so there's multiple crimes happening here. That is what's being implied, apparently. As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers was one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky, out the open window. Didn't say a word, although I'm told this is the expected behavior. Okay. And what did you do after that? So that's just how Flora is. I spent is. the early evening searching the library. It took There's a library! Trip. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was in the library too? I expected her to make an appearance, but she did not. And you stayed in the library the rest of the day? Not quite. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, or shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library. But before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. But he was on the he Pointer told me side. To stay out of the way. I consented. I decided to return to my office in the Stone Square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer Staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. Interesting. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder in the house. I took my leave, out towards the stone square. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring in Fellow Tower. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. He spoke to me of what had occurred. His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear. But so the gardener saw it. Mournful? I cannot say. Okay, we're gonna have to talk to the gardener. Interesting. So, we know now that Professor Pointer was in the Pointer Tower, but somehow, but but something caused him some kind of distress that caused him to go to the Fellow Tower. But the murder happened in the Fellow Tower, so it couldn't have been the murder that caused him distress. The library, you say? Does it have the library smell? I love, I love the smell of books, paper, a new book smell is so good. Library, I'm sorry. I love, as I mean, like I live in a library. Come on, I live in, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a librarian. This is my whole thing. I love libraries. What if Freya was stabbed in the- Oh, more in the chicken. <laughs> Man. Okay. So, we do know Hawkshaw said that uh, they talked to Flora, and Flora also just didn't talk and just stared out the window. So that's just how Flora is. Quite the stoic statue, isn't she? I can only dream of being as cold and indifferent as Flora Fellow. You 
think she's hiding something? Perhaps. She has some strange habits. I heard she barely sleeps. An hour here or there, sporadically. Ooh. Spends the rest of her time staring up at the sky. Interesting. I'm, I'm not sure whether or not I should be trusting Hawkshaw quite yet. 314 cases solved. Nice! 300? Oh, Grimoire? Grimoire sounded so, like, so, like, nervous and so sad. Just, like, how? Freya Fellow is of great interest to me. I perceived her to be the most intelligent individual here at Tangle Tower. Oh! Within a day, she had identified for whom I was working and for what I was searching. Oh! I don't know how she did it. I was impressed. I regret that I did not question her more thoroughly when I had the opportunity. You couldn't have known she was about to be killed, though. I have only myself to blame for failing to perceive the signs. What signs? I do not wish to do your job for you, detective. Man, come on, Hawkshaw! Get through us a bone! If you know something, tell us! From, the, from a detective to another detective, tell us if you know something! My gosh, okay. Interesting. So, Freya, Freya was able to figure out who Hawkshaw was working for, meaning Hawkshaw is not was not working for Freya. Freya was able to figure out who Hawkshaw was working for and what the case was. Maybe Hawkshaw's employer killed Freya. Possibly? Paints? Yep. Paints. Mm-hmm. I believe that was in Flora's room yesterday. Okay. But it was not cracked when I saw it last. So that stuff was not cracked. A somewhat cumbersome device. And an altogether inefficient way to listen to music. What kind of music do you like, Hawkshaw? I, I like anything. <laughs> what a cop-out. Okay, wait. I'm sorry. Are Sally and Hawkshaw... Anyone else getting this? Sally and Hawkshaw kind of flirting? I, I mean, like, I'm all for it, but, like, man, I'm getting kind of some flirty vibes between them. I kind of like it. <laughs> what if Freya... Oh, wait, I already read that. I'm making some valid chicken theories. <laughs> man. Okay. The paint is still wet. Yeah, well, we know Freya was in the middle of painting when she was killed. Do you know that? How? Because you were told? No. We have stuff! Why aren't you saying stuff? Grimoire! We literally talked about this! The reason why we think she was in the middle of painting when she was killed is because the, the, the silhouette of her body is so close to the canvas, meaning she must have been up against the canvas, prob most likely working on the painting when she was killed. Grimoire, why aren't you saying things? Grimoire, you're, you, we know more than... Man. You got it open. I'm impressed. It wasn't hard. I managed it myself yesterday. I thought Flora might be hiding the... Hiding something in there. Hiding what? It was empty yesterday, too. It was. Perhaps it's always been empty. Hiding what? Makes quite an impression, doesn't it? Although I can't imagine why she painted Flora wielding a knife. You didn't see a knife anywhere in Flora's room, did you? I did not. I conclude whatever stabbed Freya must have been brought into the room from outside. Unless, of course, it was the painting itself. Surely you don't believe in that kind of thing. A detective's job is to examine every avenue of thinking. How? Look at that! How? Where'd you dig that up? It wasn't buried. It was underwater. Someone trying to conceal evidence, perhaps? Yep. That's what we're thinking. Have you deciphered the meaning of those four symbols on the harp? No, not yet. We're working on it. That's a no, then. Have you? <laughs> you truly consider this a case file? What's wrong with it? No organization, no system. That's my style. <laughs> I like seeing everything laid out at once. Yeah, I like that. You think. Yeah. How quaint. Yeah. Grimoire. Yeah. Scatterbrained style of thinking. I like it. Same. Tangle Tower. No idea why they insist on calling it that. 
It's not even a tower. It's little more than a pair of turrets stuck on either side of a mansion. That is true. The Have building is called Tangle Tower when it's not a tower. I believe so. Why? He wants to know if you found any secret rooms. <laughs> I'm afraid the residents of Tangle Tower are far too ordinary for anything like that. Aw, oh, come I on! Too. Hawkshaw's like, I also wanted some secret rooms. All detectives secretly want secret rooms in every single mansion they have to, to investigate. They're so cool. Come on, I just want a secret room. Just give me the secret rooms, please. Okay, so that was everything that we could talk to Hawkshaw about. Let's check out the green a giant glowing gemstone full of plants. It's a greenhouse. It's a greenhouse, Grimoire. Why do you look so scared? AKA a greenhouse. Okay, let's go check out the greenhouse. Oh, there's the gardener. Man, they're looking real, uh, ominous in the background there. A little chart of, uh, actually, I have no idea what it's about. These look like chemical, uh, like, elements. Interesting. Greek letters, I think. Kind of reminds me of a periodic table. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Interesting. What do you make of it? Not a whole lot. Okay, interesting. This one's in a little pot. Okay, that is definitely not edible. It looks like a gemstone, don't you think? It does, kind of. Potted fruit with a hard gemstone-like skin. skin. The soil in the pot is an unusual blue. So the soil in this place is blue. The water is purple. What the heck is going on? That's a handsome beetle. Looks like he might have magic powers. <laughs> I think Sally is probably a fantasy or uh, slash possible D&D nerd, especially with the story of like the the uh, the dragon turned to stone in the, uh, the the square. I think I think Sally might might be a fantasy nerd. I fully approve. It's a strange period periodic table. Why is the pie symbol on there? Was it? A little chart. Actually, I have no idea. Oh, you're right. There is the pie symbol. Interesting. Oh, I should be doing what I usually do for like, I, I whenever I used to do play Nancy Drew games, uh, I would keep a notebook where I would write stuff down. I don't know why I'm actually not doing that right now. Blue soil, interesting. Maybe this is... Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start writing stuff down. Specifically, I want to write down the symbols that are used here. Because in case if we see any of them crop up again... Because this is interesting. Especially since there's, uh... There's, like, little tally marks. Or not tally marks, Roman numerals next to some of these symbols. So that's gotta mean something. They've gotta be, like, an order for something later on. Right? Only unless this is a red herring to throw us off. It could very well be. But I'm still gonna write this down. Because I wanna be thorough. Also, uh, ads just started. There's pie, they're interesting. Okay, so while the ads go, I'm going to write this down. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -da -da. Hope the people who have ads have really cool ads. Um, ads can be really annoying, but sometimes if it's a really cool ad, uh, you know, it's not as bad. Okay. They kind of got like thing going here. I'm going to draw the pattern in which the squares are in, also just in case, possibly. Mm -hmm. 
that is also very interesting. <clears throat> no ads for me? I mean, oh, because you guys are so. You, well, I don't. I that, uh, thank you for the subs, but you guys don't get ads because you're subbed. <laughs> I was like, wait. Uh, I, I was about to say like, did my did my countdown like like tell me something wrong? Is my thing broken? Is my countdown thing broken? But nah, I realized. I realized. I was like, oh no! For a second, I thought my thing was broken. Okay. Um, I'm guessing the people who got ads should be back by now. So let's continue. Okay. Well, what do you make of it? Not a whole okay, lot. So they talked about that already. Uh, this is very interesting. Blue soil, purple water. It's very, very. Curious. Curious. Tools. Used by a gardener. For gardening. No duh, thank you. Okay, I was hoping that maybe would, there was something inside there. Hanging baskets. They're so high up. To you, maybe. <laughs> Grimoire just bragging about his height. Casually. Never got at- Wait, what? Really? Okay, that's weird. Hmm, that's weird. It's... <laughs> My thing is saying it's running ads. What? Okay, that's weird. Uh... Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I guess that's not a bad thing. I mean, you guys aren't getting ads, so, like, you guys get to still watch. But that's... That's weird that my thing told me that it played an ad. <laughs> You know what? It's a glitch in the system. It's a glitch in the system, so that no one has to deal with ads. Nice. You're only two inches taller than me. <laughs> two inches makes all the difference. Okay, Grimoire. Sure. Also, I'm going to just put down a note of blue soil, purple water. Is that is an interesting thing to note about this area. Is that fruit? It's shaped like fruit. Too shiny to be fruit. I think it's glowing a little too. Safe to eat, do you think? I'm gonna say no. Okay, so all the fruit here they're saying looks like gemstones. It's glass, but I can't see through it. Tonal oxymoron. I am not. <laughs> Grimoire! He's not the smartest. The sm He's not the smartest. I, I don't know why I said smartest. He's not the smartest, but you gotta love him. Okay. Uh, I think that seems to be everything of interest. So let's talk to the gardener. Sally, don't move. We're being watched. Did you yeah, just I notice? See him. He's a little too big to hide in the bushes. Hello. Is anyone going to say anything? Or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right. Sorry. Sorry. That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective Grimoire. Who are you? Fitz fellow. The gardener. Oh, Fitz. Mm -hmm. We saw him and in the why family are you tree. So tall? I don't know. You work here as the gardener. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. Okay. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant green and purple lake surrounding the entire house? Yeah, I clocked it. The color is just a byproduct. Of what? Poison? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? The water controls all life, just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls. The water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Okay. 
Could you say that again, but like condense it as if you were talking to a slightly stupid person? Oh, Our Grimoire. lake water causes the unpredictable alteration of DNA sometimes. Alteration? Oh! Or like mutation. That'd be the official term. For us, it's normal. Just nature. And you're the local expert on all this stuff? No. I'm just the gardener. Interesting. So that's why all the plants here look like gemstones like and slightly glow. Interesting. Very interesting. So does this mean that everyone here is a mutant? The way he said that. The way he said that he's just a gardener? Yeah. I was in my greenhouse, watering and weeding. Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers, I think. Did you speak to each other? A little, not too much. We both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon. I went up to my room. Then I came back outside to weed the main gardens. Didn't see anyone else. After that, I went up to the garden outside my room. And? Let me guess. Watering and weeding. Right. Did anything happen to you yesterday, Fitz? This is very interesting. He didn't mention... So, we were to told by Hawkshaw that, that Fitz here is the one that told them about the murder. He didn't mention talking... Talk, talking? Talking to Hawkshaw. I was up in the rooftop garden. It was quiet. And then, it wasn't. I can't describe it. Could have been a scream, but it didn't sound human. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there. Who's we? We. Poppy was with me. Did I not mention that? You did not. Also, Flora's I love that Grimoire said that at the same That's time as normal. me. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. We became concerned. You kicked the door down? I did. That's why the door is broken. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. So Flora was when in the room. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Okay, I would just like to note... We know the professor went up to the tower in a, uh, when, cause, uh, he's, we were told by Hawkshaw that the professor seemed very frazzled when he went up into the tower. We were not told that, like, by Hawkshaw, Hawkshaw didn't see Poppy, but Fitz just told us that Poppy brought the professor to the tower, which is interesting. Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached her, she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. Okay. So he, he, so their stories check out with each other. The only thing that doesn't match up is poppy going to the tower with the professor rather than the professor going to the tower alone that's the only thing that doesn't match up in their stories okay i like flora i hope she's all right do you think she had anything to do with the murder there's no way she wouldn't willingly cause any additional suffering for anyone They're not normally together. One of them might be an imposter and is acting like them, and that's why they're together, because the imposter didn't know that they aren't... What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. She questioned me. About what? My work, the plants, a bit of everything. Did she search the greenhouse? No, she didn't. You sure? Maybe she did it when you weren't in there. No, she hasn't touched it. How can you tell? Trust me. I can tell. So, I'm guessing he, he means that in the sense of, like, either he has surveillance in the greenhouse, or 
he knows how the entire layout of the greenhouse is, where everything is, and he knows nothing was out of place. She was always kind to me. She'd come into the greenhouse when I was working. Oh, that was interesting. Sometimes by herself, sometimes with Poppy. I think they were just bored at first. Eventually, they started asking questions. About what? Poppy wanted to learn about flowers. Freya, she used to ask me about the insects. Insects? One of my jobs is to protect plants from things that might eat them. Freya brought me this little glass box, leaves and twigs inside. She'd say, put all the troublemakers in there. Every day I'd put a handful of beetles and other things in the box. Then she'd come along and take it away. I didn't really understand her, but she was always kind. Okay, so he was semi-close with Freya. It was very interesting that he said she was always kind, dot, 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 to me. That's very interesting. There's also the point of she collected bugs, apparently. Pretty sure it's just Gardener Sixth Sense. Yeah, that could be it. Have you met this guy, Fitz? Shifty eyes. Doesn't say a lot. Totally suspicious, if you ask me. That's me. Yeah, that's... It, it was a joke. Aww. I was joking. <laughs> oh, I see. Aw, Fitz did not get the joke. Oof. This is a good example of how things work. I mix that soil here in the greenhouse. It's made with water from the lake. And it makes the fruit grow all shiny and gem stony. Sometimes. You never really know what's going to happen. And what do you do with this shiny and edible fruit? You look at it. You look at it? He's like, it's just pretty. Paints are different to flowers. I'd say so, yeah. At any time, flowers can bloom with perfect, faultless colors. Red, blue, white, with paint. Once you've tainted a color by mixing it with others, not even the most skilled painter can return it to its pure form. True, that is true. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. Oh, so, okay, so I'm guessing Poppy's close with Freya. So we're gonna have to ask Poppy about the cassette. Okay, that's a good thing to note. Shiny fruit is good fruit. Calling it now, all of the butlers did it. Ah, yes. All of the- we haven't seen any butlers yet. That is interesting. It, they live in a mansion, supposedly. It's a, the, the house is supposed to be a mansion. But we haven't seen any butlers. You can make paint from some bugs. Oh, maybe Freya uses bugs to, to make her paint. That is an interesting point. Shiny fruit is good. It is. Okay, I'm going to note to show the crack tape to Poppy because he said that that was probably Poppy's. The crack tape to Poppy. Okay. Nice. Gramophone. That belongs to Poppy. So, why is it up in Flora's Tower? I'm not sure. Okay, so the gramophone is also Poppy's. So maybe Poppy and Flora were listening to music while Flora was painting? There's something off about this. What is it? Why don't you take another look at Flora's room? You think we missed a clue up there? Not exactly. Oh, that's interesting. Fitz is telling us that we missed something and that there's something off about the brush and the palette. It's an egg with feet. It was locked. But we opened it, but it was empty. Fun story. <laughs> Fitz is like, why are you telling me this? What do you think that is in Flora's hand? I don't know. It does look like a knife, but Flora wasn't holding anything at all when I saw her after the murder. But there's something bothering me, something else. What? When we went into Flora's room, she wasn't standing in this position. Well, she probably would have moved around a little bit by then. She wasn't standing at all. She was kneeling on the floor. Huh. Okay, interesting. Maybe Flora was attacked by the murderer as well, but not killed? That looks like it might belong to Poppy. Okay, so the cassette... So 
Cause the cassettes probably belong to Poppy, both of them, okay. It's of no interest to me, but I overheard Poppy and Freya talking about it once. What were they saying? They were arguing about something, but I can't remember the details. Okay. Who gave you that information? Uh, well... We don't actually know who it was. We were contacted anonymously. Ooh. I see. And what happens if the person who contacted you turns out to be the murderer? I never thought about that. Honestly, that would be kind of fun. Like a twist, you know? Hey, isn't this a... Oh, never mind. I was about to spoil something and then I realized I shouldn't say... I shouldn't say... I, I was saying that's like another thing I knew, another story I know. Uh, where where they do that, but then I was like, oh, I shouldn't say what the story is, just in case if people don't want spoilers for it. Uh, but I do know a story where they do that, where the twist is that like the person who contacted the detective was the murderer, and it's a very interesting one. It was a very interesting story. I will not say the story though, for the sake of not spoiling. Nice painting gives you a pretty good idea of the layout. The lake looks like it forms a perfect circle around the island. It might seem strange to you, but nature is quite capable of producing perfectly geometric forms. And those mountain cliff things around the outside? We don't know much about them. They're unscalable. Not even Freya could have gone up there. What's that? This painting. It's speculative. There are no photographs from this angle as far as I know. So Freya just made it up. Let's call it an informed estimation. Okay. Interesting. Fitz's room is unlocked. It's up in the fellow tower. This could be interesting. No, let's not go right now. Okay, I think that's everything in the greenhouse. Okay, we know based off of when he said he was in his room, he was here, so that's his room. You know what, actually, let's, let's go check out Fitz's room. Is, oh. Uh, there's someone outside the window. Something outside the window. It's probably just a rock. You sure? Oh, interesting. Okay. So I know he did say he has a garden just outside his room. So that's probably what that is. Fitz's room is very barren. Oh, wow. What? It's a big empty space. <laughs> Thanks, Grimoire. An empty glass and an empty plate. Looking at it is making me want to cry. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Not hidden very well, is it? Oh, Doesn't need to be. It's locked. It's a combination sort of. Oh, I didn't mean to click so fast through that, but okay. Rearrange the pieces of paper to find the combination for the padlock. Okay. Can I... Okay, I can't rotate them, so it has to be like this. Huh. Interesting. They can be put together to form different shapes. The question is, in what order? I saw this one. This one was the first one we got. This is the, the, the one that we currently have. Earlier, I did, did this. Yeah, we got that one shape. Okay. Um... else can these be put together? Um, what other shapes can we form? Oh, oh, oh! A water droplet? Okay, so that one. And then... We just need one more shape.
Okay. So I don't see like this. Oh, that's right here. Is this it? Nothing. Maybe if you move the paper around, you'll find a clue. I've been doing that. Okay. Um. Oh wait. I was on the wrong shape. That's done it. There we go. I was like, wait, that's correct. Okay, nah. I was on the wrong one. Hello, 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 S uh, Snowy. It wouldn't have been... I wouldn't have known that if you didn't say it, Grimoire, thanks for the useful information. I don't know what that was towards, but you probably was saying something very, very obvious. I'm gonna have to head out, unfortunately. Take care. Have much fun. Uh, okay. Bye, Autumn. Have a good day. Okay. Neat. What's inside the box? Anything in there? Yeah, it's wrapped in a cloth. Hold on. Huh. That's kind of ominous. Oh! PP P -P and FF. I'm guessing that's Poppy, uh, Poppy Pointer and Fitz Fellow. Because he, he was talking about how he hangs out. He seems to hang out a lot with Poppy. And Poppy's also interested in flowers. Metal gardening trowel with a decorative pattern. Okay. It's a little handmade card. Someone's drawn a heart on the front. Inside it says, To Fitz, from PP. Guessing it's from Poppy. That poor plant. Looks pretty healthy to me. Healthy, but sad. I think it would rather be outside. Doesn't look soft. It's locked, but it leads outside. I thought we were halfway up a tower. We are. What's that thing by the handle? Oh. Interesting. Nothing. The tiles have all got that same sun symbol on them. Those moon symbols in the slots, are they connected? Maybe they're connected, but also not connected. What? Nope. Maybe the information we need isn't here. So where is it? Somewhere else. Okay. So we don't know what this is yet. Okay. Good to know. Interesting, interesting. Ah. The, oh, the wow, it's a big empty space was the wow, I wouldn't have been able to tell. <laughs> okay. Just pronounce the name as if it, uh, it was one eye. Sanoi. Sanoi. Is it Sanoi or Sanoi? He, he, hey, he, he, my humor is broken, man. Let's come back once we know what to do. Okay, so it looks like we don't have the information for that one yet. But we did, let's ask Fitz about that trowel. Fitz, we got a new thing. This is yours, Fitz? Yeah. Do you use it? I keep all my tools in the greenhouse. That wasn't what she asked. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's try and find Poppy. Oh, oh wait, Fitz told us to recheck the crime scene. I forgot to do that. Because he said something was interesting about the palette. Will they talk about how the blood stain and the the the, the paintbrush are connected now? The outline of Freya Fellow. There's a single patch of no real sign. That's weird. What? Her feet were right up by the So? So she well, was Okay, so we've already heard this. Again. Okay. We have already heard this. We already did this. Supposedly, Freya was working. Looks like she was still. Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. Okay. Fitz told us to double check the crime scene, but they're not saying anything new.
it's fast, like it's annoying. Not Sanoi E. Okay, so it's Sanoi. Sanoi. It seems a bit nervous. He might be a chick. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the garden. Oh, I think. Let's see if we can find uh, Freya's room. Okay, this is a workshop. Buffer? Fish? Yes. It's also a lamp. For some reason. Okay. This isn't Freya's room. I'll come back here later, though. Okay, here we go. Freya's room. This is important. because th This is the victim's room. Even though we're halfway up a tower, someone's been tracking in mud from outside. Interesting. A pillow with a paw print pattern. It's a cushion. Yeah, but that doesn't alliterate. Man. It's a little glass box. Oh, is this the one with all the beetles? I think it's a vivarium. Come again? See the leaves and twigs in there? Might have been for keeping insects. Yeah, okay. Not the kind of lamp I choose for my bedroom, but fair enough. It's cool. Looks like old mining equipment or something. Maybe that's a for the bugs? That's weird. What did you find in the drawers? Nothing. They're completely empty. Oh, that is kind of interesting. Thank you for the follow, one superior uh, Afro Samurai. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Habadon, hey, must be in a museum. Oh, <laughs> man. That's towards me. Thank you. Uh, but we also there are also quite a few artworks around here. Thank you for the follow, Sanoi. Thank you. Oh, slurp, slurp, yum, yum. Okay, I get a drink. Okay. <sighs> slurp, slurp, yum, yum. Thank you for that. Ah, yes. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. While I, uh, while we're streaming. And the liquid nitrogen emotes come out, of course. Do not, do not actually drink liquid nitrogen. It is a joke. <laughs> Big painting, very pretty. Yeah, okay. It is a very interesting painting. It kind of, it's kind of giving me Eye of Sauron vibes, because it kind of looks like a tower with like a bright part at the top. That was also interesting. So Freya's, all of her drawers and cabinets were empty. Let's take a look at the painting. That painting is really something. Why would you want it looming over your bed like that? Maybe Freya enjoyed the atmosphere it creates. It creates a little bit of a spooky atmosphere. I will give that. The atmosphere of chaos and oppression? <laughs> Every single time Grimoire says anything that causes him to have that face, I am filled with so much joy. Oh boy, I sure love my liquid nitrogen. <laughs> sure do. Slurp, slurp, yum, yum. <laughs> the 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 joke. It's 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 a joke because uh, I I told the story about a friend of mine who works at a lab, and was giving me a tour via Snapchat, and like in the video said, and this is our liquid nitrogen tank. Slurp, slurp, yum, yum. And now just liquid nitrogen. Uh, slurp, slurp, yum, yum has just become a joke on the channel. With the idea of uh the idea of like liquid nitrogen dishes mm, i do love my liquid nitrogen flavored ice cream and liquid nitrogen flavored chips <laughs> ay, ay, ay. no do not actually drink liquid nitrogen <laughs> it does kind of look like a tower yeah hang on there is a smaller version down by the floor. It's a photograph. Oh. Oh, this is, it's like a thumbnailing. Uh, cause I like, this is something that like most artists do. I, I, I've done this a few times, especially when I'm working on a big, really big painting. 
Uh, I'll thumbnail it first to try and get an idea to block out what the stuff I want. Small photograph of Freya's abstract painting. A piece of adhesive tape is stuck on it. Lines have been drawn with blank black ink around the edges. Don't stop me now. <laughs> no! <laughs> I downed five liters of liquid nitrogen today. It gives me the hell it feels. Ah, uh, yes. The liquid nitrogen jitter. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Um. This teddy bear. Freya's bear. Looks pretty depressed. He's had a rough couple of days. Aww. How old was Freya? That is something that we didn't really get. It's a little wooden box for paintbrushes. To the casual observer, maybe. They're not. Looks really. like they're part oh. of some kind of lock mechanism. I didn't mean to click so fast. Okay. Okay, let's piece this together. Yeah. Yeah. Get the edges. Edge pieces first. Edge. Edge. Oh wait, but this also could be an edge. Edge. This also could be an edge. What the heck? Are there multiple type papers? Uh, okay. No, this isn't an edge. Oh wait, this is a, this edge. Okay. So it's like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, we need something with a slant like that. This. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We're piecing it together. Bada bing, bada boom! Okay. Let's see. What does this mean? Okay. Uh. Okay, so we know it goes orange. One of the oranges is in the first spot. And then there's a pink. Okay, so this pink has to be there because it's pink in that shape. So either this or this is in this spot. We know a blue thing ha There's only one other blue. Okay, so that has to go there. That means that has to fit there. Okay. Okay. There's, I just noticed there's two of that shape. Um. Oh! Oh, there's the lengths. The lengths, too. Wait, okay. So... Orange short here. This goes here. Blue has to go here, there. So that has to be that. There we go. That's done it. Yeah! Figured it out. Thank you for the lurk. Hope that hope you're enjoying your cozy little corner in the enchanted library. Got to play a game. Ah yes. Neat. What was in the box? Just a photograph. Well, most of a photograph. Oh, interesting. A photograph of two young girls, one with red hair, the other with green hair. The photo has a large piece of it missing. It seems to have been ripped. Okay, so that looks like, um, that looks like, uh, not Poppy. That looks like Freya. Except Freya has green hair, and in this photo, whoever that is has blonde hair but that looks like poppy or not poppy that looks like freya that really does look like freya we don't know who that is the pink haired girl and someone is torn out of it very interesting very very interesting 
Okay. Painting supplies. Painting supplies. It's a fish, I think? I think it looks more like a whale. Fine, it's a whale. Looks like a koi fish. Could also be a shark. It's Freya's bed. A little bit messy. It's a perfectly healthy amount of messy. Yeah, that's actually not that messy. I've My bed has been in far more disarray. Freya's plants. They must not need sunlight? Mr. S you, you didn't do the phrase properly, so I didn't want to say it. Uh, I'm waiting for the proper call and response. Do you think this was always supposed to be a bedroom? I don't know. It is kind of a weird shape. It is a very weird shape. This looks more like the shape of like a closet. Or like a storage room. Especially with like the pipes on the walls. No windows either. It's a fun thing. It's a new thing. It's a swing wing. It's a what? Thank you. Okay, yeah, that was that is the call and response that we usually we usually do for that. Yes, swing wing. There we go. I said it this stream. Do you think this was Okay, so know. he's going to say the same thing there. This is a very this is very interesting. Brushes, pencils. They're clean, but they look pretty well used. Okay. I think that's it here. It looks like it. Uh, oh, let's check out the library. As, I mean, I want I want to see the library. I really I love libraries. Oh, hey, that's the girl from the photo. Whoever that is. It's an illustrated book about birds. That's been left open. Looks like somebody was halfway through reading it. Okay, someone was looking at birds. Or it was left open for us to find. Okay, Sally. Ever so slightly unnerving. <laughs> it's... Uh, the ink dip is a remarkably intelligent bird with a very long lifespan, even among avian mystids. Other birds are often aggressive towards it, and the ink dip lives most of its life alone. It has particular feeding habits and usually only eats the seeds of the tantum amica. Interesting. Okay. Books about space. They're relatively untouched. Huh. Aw. Space is so cool. Space is so cool. Speaking of how we said Grimoire, kind of got a Markiplier uh, hairstyle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I forget how that the last little riff goes. Space is so cool. Okay, anyway, sorry. Getting distracted. That is a really good song. Books about insects. Oh, Freya would have liked those. Well, theoretically. Because Freya uh, was collecting insects. There's not a single book on that shelf. Oh, never mind. Huh. Maybe Freya has all the books. Books about ancient history, I think. These books are ancient history. I just realized that the, the bookshelf is toppled over. I think over. they'd crumble into dust if I tried to pick them up. Good excuse. Thanks. Books about geography. Skip. Sure. Why not build a science lab in the corner of the library? I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The search for new knowledge. The archiving of old knowledge. It's downright poetic. Nice. I like that. Again, Sally cements herself as one of my favorite characters. Books about nature? Books about birds. Only birds, specifically. That's interesting. The shelves are about half empty. Oh, so you're a the shelves are half empty kind of person. You knew this already. <laughs> <laughs> it's musty in here. What exactly does that mean? What is must? Like, it's like a thick air. Must. You ask such stupid questions. Nice. Okay, let's talk to this person. Curious. 
I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Uh, may I talk to you, miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk- Correction. You do not need to talk to me. Oh, no? How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Okay, but, like, we don't know that for sure. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah, come on, Grimoire, hurry up. <laughs> My apologies. Grimoire's like, I'm not yet ready! I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh, could you tell me your name? Fifi Fella, okay, microbiologist, so... inventor, innovator. Interesting, Fifi. I think Fifi was in the photo that looks like it was the other person in the photo that with the person that looks like Freya, but has blonde hair instead of green. Space is amazing. Space is amazing. Space is really cool. Like I said before, I'm not going to... I don't want to actually start singing the song again. Science Lab would actually be great in a library. Doing any research would require... Yeah, it would be. It's just the thing of, like, depending on the type of exper experiments you're performing there, it would be better to have a separate room within the library for that. The Enchanted Library has a little lab that I like to work in. I like to do some alchemy stuff on the side for funsies. You will need to be more specific. One's self cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. So true. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter Correct. of- Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix, but you need not question either oh, of them. Oh, Flora is the mom. Waste valuable time. Uh, of the of them fellows, okay. Murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro something or other? Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. Okay. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed a microscope? Correct. And oh, cool. what's that thing on your head? Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not satisfied with the eyeglasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. It oh, automatically cool. adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No, but that would be most amusing. <laughs> I like how Phoebe's like, wait, actually, that would be cool, though. Now I kind of want that. <laughs> Fifi is cool. I like Fifi, too. What Fifi. can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about... Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes. However, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective, too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me, too. Aww. So talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was in fact planning to ignore me completely. Aww. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, why? Fifi! I don't know, it I like just how, sounds why? kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh? Oh, Fifi! Good. Someone give this girl a hug! I, I don't think she's okay! Oh. Okay, let's get her statement. I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me. So I punched her in the face. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> she insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. Okay, you so... You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were... 
feeling so upset? Okay, so Beefy is ha the the person who figured out it was blood. So we we don't know who hired us, but we do know in the case file that we were given, it stated that the the uh, red on the painting was actually blood. Maybe Fifi's the one who hired us, wanting to try and like find the murderer to. I'm guessing. I'm I'm guessing Freya is her sister based off the family tree we saw. But Fifi wanted. I, I'm get maybe Fifi hired us to find out the murderer of her sister. Science waits for no one. <laughs> Feel like Poppy might be the murderer. I I am getting suspicious of Poppy. We haven't seen her yet, so. We have yet to be able to question her, but I am a little suspicious of Poppy as well. Of course. Why would one affect the other? You know, everyone deals with grief in their own way. And if trying to analyze the situation makes Fifi feel better, so th that's, th 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 that's, that's how it is. Name, Flora Fellow. Age, 44. Profession, unknown. Likes, unknown. Dislikes. Unknown. Uh, isn't she your mother? How do you not know anything? I believe other people may have discovered methods of reaching her, but I have little capacity for interpreting nonverbal communication. Aww. And how long has Flora been uh, nonverbal? She has always been quiet. Okay. Willing to speak when necessary, but not more. Okay. So what happened to make her stop talking entirely? She suffered a great loss. Oh. Something she's been unable to move beyond. We haven't met the father yet, so maybe that the father passed away? Okay, let's ask about Hawkshaw. Name, Hawkshaw. Age, unknown. Profession, private detective. Likes, quote, being left alone. <laughs> Dislikes, quote, being constantly badgered by a weirdo nerd with a clipboard. Oh, did she just get that? Okay, let's ask about Name, Fitz. Name, Fitzfellow, age, 24. Profession, cryptobotanist. Likes soil, dislikes electric lights. Hang on, cryptobotanist? I thought he was just a gardener. That may well be his preferred label. Mine, however, is more accurate. Hmm, interesting. Do you and Fitz not see eye to eye, Fifi? We do not. Well. Okay, so they don't get along. Six foot and you've got to be just barely five. So what's your problem with him? Exactly one week ago, I witnessed him sneaking up Pointer Tower. He was making every effort to avoid detection. So? He was also carrying a knife. Interesting! But that's Pointer Tower, not Fellow Tower. That is very interesting. There's also the fact that we know Fitz is kind of close to Poppy. So originally, before before Fifi mentioned the knife, I was going to say maybe he was sneaking up to go meet with Poppy. Freya looks evil? I don't think Freya looks evil. Also, Freya is dead. How can you suspect... <laughs> how how are you suspecting Freya? Name. Freya Fellow. Age. 19. Oh. Profession. Artist. Deceased. Understand this. Most people find me difficult. They exhibit a noticeable degree of discomfort when talking to me. Uh. There it is. Freya who had a way of being an exception to any given rule, was not at all like this. She is very important, and I will not rest until I understand what has happened to her. Aww. Did you spend a lot of time with Freya recently? I will say this. In the past year, Freya became, one, increasingly independent, and two, increasingly isolated. Oh. Do you know why? I do not. If you are looking for a speculative, empathetic opinion, try asking Poppy instead. The three of you are friends. We are of a similar age, and all highly gifted. One scientist, one artist, and one musician. Okay. So we know like then that means Poppy's a musician. Okay, interesting. Name, Fiona Fellow. Age, 19. Profession, 
Amateur microbiologist. Likes. The meaningful archiving of information. Wait. Dislikes. Fifi's also 19? Are Fifi and... The majority of human contact. Are Fifi and Freya twins? What? I'm confused. Anyway. Notes. Kindly disregard the polysyllabic form of my given forename and refer to me instead as Fifi. How come you prefer Fifi? How come you prefer Grimoire? How are you related to the other fellows? Fitz is my cousin. His father, a man named Flint, was my uncle. What? I do not know if Flint is alive or not. He left Tangle Tower a long time ago. Okay. And what about Freya? How are you related to her? We share exactly one grandparent. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I thought they were sisters, but I was wrong. What is your opinion of Tangle Tower? Oh, it's impressive. Elaborate gardens, unique architecture. Must be worth a fortune. Why do you ask, Fifi? I am the heir of the Fellow family and the Remington family. Oh! This makes me the sole beneficiary of Tangle Tower. That's quite an inheritance. They can't make you do anything, Fifi. If you don't want the house, just tell them. Or just sell it. Who cares? You sound like her. Oh, I'm guessing she means Freya. Oh. This photograph is my favorite photograph. So, why'd you rip it in half? That was not me. Besides, it was not a half that was ripped off. It was only a third. So, who, who, uh, we need to figure out who that third person is. And I'm guessing that third person is Poppy. And she said she didn't rip it, so that probably means Freya ripped it. Because it looks like it's Freya, Fifi, and then probably Poppy. And then Freya ripped Poppy out. I require facts. What do you know? Well, we know Freya was stabbed with a knife, and then she fell- Correction. She was stabbed with something. There was no knife found at the crime scene. A man, Fifi, okay. Painting. Which, as a mere abstract representation, does not count. Nobody has ever been stabbed by the concept of a knife. That's true. I don't- I, I'm pretty sure it's true. The statue itself does not interest me, but I do wish to know about those symbols on the heart. Have you deciphered their meaning yet? We're working on it. We are? We are. This belongs to Poppy. In fact, she owns a number of cassette tapes. Okay, what so happened? we need to get our hands on all it of them. It has been left underwater for an extended period of time. Right. But why? I do not know why. Yeah. Freya is normally highly skilled at capturing someone's likeness. But in this painting, she has accidentally made Flora look quite young. Accidentally? I think she was just being kind. Why is that kind? Anyway, I'm far more interested in what Flora is holding. I performed the test on the red paint myself. I discovered that it was, in fact, not Okay, paint, we know this. Blood. What made you want to test it in the first place? It was Poppy. She told me she thought the painting looked like a bloody knife. I told her not to be ridiculous. My mother owns no such knife. But then I noticed that the color was slightly too dark, and the substance itself was overly viscous. Oh. You noticed that just from looking at it once? Of course. Just the, of course! That belongs to my mother. I think she must be Second time it's been brought up, seems like it must be important. Or be seems it's very important. And in the Grand Hall. Yeah, uh, what's the deal with all the eggs? Some people just like eggs. Some people just like eggs. Okay, interesting. Are you talking about the the fact that the uh, that she was the that uh, she was the one who who tested the blood in the painting? She did mention that Poppy was the one who convinced her to do so. Again, stuff pointing towards Poppy being very suspicious. The red paint on the brush is not paint; it is blood. Same for the palette. Oh! So Freya added the blood to the painting herself? Or blood got on the brush and palette some other way? So that is still blood. Oh, the symbols on the harp? Oh, well, I keep asking people about it. So we need to try... It, we need to... I do know, like, it's important. I just don't know where to get the answers for it quite yet. The gramophone belongs to Poppy. But I believe she gave it to my mother. And my mother often loaned it to Freya. Or maybe it is the other way around. When did it get cracked? I cannot pinpoint it exactly. All I know 
is that it must have happened sometime in the last two days. Okay. <laughs> is she laughing? Oh, that tape made her laugh. That's interesting. Fifi, did you test the red paint in this pot? Yes, I did. I discovered it too was blood, oh. not paint. A whole pot full of blood? Not a whole pot. It is only partially full. Yeah, but still. That is a lot of blood! No. In fact, it may be considered rather reassuring. How? How is that reassuring? Okay, so everything that everything that looks like it could be red paint is actually blood. The fruit here has a unique chemical makeup. It makes them completely pointless. <laughs> unless you wish to cut it down and sell it as a precious stone. It's not edible. Depends. On what? On the structural integrity of your teeth. <laughs> it's like, are you willing to break your teeth? Do you know who was reading this book? It belongs to my mother. And she left it in the library? No. My mother has not been in the library for some time. Hmm. Okay, so someone was reading this book. It, and based off the fact that this book is Flora's, then that probably means Flora likes birds. What if Freya had a twin, killed her twin to fake her own death? The twin probably wasn't very popular, so no one... I don't think that it's probably... It's that complicated. I believe Freya was attempting to communicate something through this painting. Any idea what it was? I am not the person to ask. Okay. All I see is a blood-red mountain with angry storm clouds brewing above it. As such, I cannot ascertain any meaning from it whatsoever. Interesting. That blade. Uh, it's a troll for gardening. It is. Oh, she th she thinks that looks like a knife. She called it a blade. So when she said that she saw Fitz holding a knife going into the pointer tower, maybe that's what he was holding. Because she didn't understand that that's a trowel for gardening. She thought it was a knife. Just now. So maybe Fitz wasn't actually holding a knife when he was going up to pointer tower. He was holding the trowel. And because it has the engraving of PPFF, which I'm theorizing is Poppy Pointer and Fitz Fellow, maybe he was going up there to show Poppy the trowel. Fifi's bedroom should be unlocked now. Can't wait. Let's go. Fifi's room. Nice. I don't know what that drink is, but I bet it's 99% sugar. Yeah, as most energy drinks are. I'd read you the ingredients, but there's nothing written on the can. Oh, that's interesting. That's even worse. Yeah. You suspect. Don't think you can get out being questioned just because you're a bear. Grimoire. I'm innocent, I promise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are these two kids? <laughs> no, it's kind of adorable though. Save it for the judge. I, I get a feeling that uh, Grimoire and Sally are like really close, like maybe possibly childhood friends. It's a magnifying glass. A big one. How come you don't have one of those? Why? Because I'm a detective? Should I start smoking a pipe, too? <laughs> you couldn't pull off a pipe. <laughs> I thought that you couldn't pull it off. Oh, Grimoire looks sad! Crystal chandeliers. Extra fancy. Yeah, that is extremely fancy. We do know Fi now. Now we do know Fifi is the heir of this place, so maybe that's why Fifi has such a nice uh, room. Also, I just realized I think people just got ads. So I'm gonna take this this time to get a quick drink of water. Don't think so. People didn't get ads? Man, my thing keeps telling me. It's like, oh, ads are playing. That's very interesting. No, it's not slurp slurp yum yum, so it's not liquid nitrogen. It's only liquid nitrogen when it's slurp slurp yum yum.
Okay. I don't know. They just seem old-fashioned to me. Plus, they're kind of dusty. Okay. Beefy's got something pinned up here. What is all this? Take a closer look. Ooh! Okay, it looks like this is the relationship that she believes people have with each other. So, Poppy and Fitz are pointed to each other, which probably has to do with the fact that they are probably dating. We're on here. Grimoire and Sally are on here, which is interesting. Because we just met Fifi. So this this continues to point out the fact that I think Fifi hired us. It's, she has a connection between Grimoire and Sally. There's a connection between... I don't know who this is. Oh, maybe that's the dad. And then uh, Flora, who we know is the mom. There is the relationship between Professor Pointer and then Lady Pointer. And... That, because I'm guessing that they are the, the husband and wife of the Pointer family. And then there's a connection between Professor Pointer and Hawkshaw. Hackshaw. Hawkshaw? Hawkshaw. Um, which probably means that Professor Pointer is the one who hired her. Taking a quick screenshot of this. Very, very interesting. Also, we're seeing a lot of the same symbols that we saw on uh, the thing in the greenhouse. But at the same time, that just could be because they were like science-y symbols. These are like all equations. Why isn't Flora the main suspect? Flora is the main suspect. We just have other suspects as well. And you don't just immediately arrest the main suspect. You need to actually do an investigation. Did you notice who isn't on here? Who isn't? Okay, so we have Poppy Fitz. We have Hawkshaw. We have the professor. Oh! Beefy didn't put herself on here. Freya? And Freya, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Beefy herself. Okay. Interesting. This is very, very interesting. That's a whole lot of books. Books are cool! A pretty ornate window with a great view of the lake. We're supposed to be looking for clues, not assessing the real estate value. And over here, you'll see the owners use sheets of paper to block out all that unnecessary natural light. <laughs> a simple trick, but it really transforms the space. What's this machine? It looks like a microscope. A big one. Can I touch it? It's a look. Uh, I'm not sure this is a microscope. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, wait. Are we trying to make it look like a key? Okay, wait. I guess that's wrong. The four lenses all have different magnification strengths. I know! So they must each have a specific position along the rail. Huh. Okay, let's see. If I take all this out. So this part is the biggest, so it needs the one that will make everything small. That's this one. Okay. Okay. This is the smallest part, so it needs the one that makes everything really big.
Nope. You need to magnify different parts of the image, so they line up into the shape of a key. That's what I'm doing! Looks like you might need to overlap some of the lenses, too. That's what I'm doing! Oh my gosh! I'm. Th that's what I did! I, it looks like I got it! Is it, it... It's this gap. Okay, wait. How am I supposed to fix the gap? What am I supposed to do here? Oh my gosh, wait, this is actually hard. They don't like to take risks, fair enough, yeah. Okay. Correct. I don't get... Huh. Man. Reset, reset it? Puzzle? Yeah, reset it. Huh. How am I supposed to do it? Uh, because this this is too small. Because if I switch these two, this becomes too big and this becomes too small. You want to close up all the gaps on the spine of the key. Start by finding the parts that are too small and make them bigger. Or vice versa. That's why I did! I'm trying, but I can't figure out how to close this gap! This has to be for this one. Ah, this is so, oh gosh, okay. to close the gap in the middle. Huh. And I'm assuming we're not missing a lens because there's only four bars. Yeah. 
if you put one and two on top of each other on the place the three was on, then put three in the middle. Okay. One and two on top of each other. And then three. No, this becomes too big for this, even so. Yeah, and then that also leaves this giant gap here. This is hard. Oh my gosh. What the heck? How am I supposed to solve this one? Well, most of the puzzles previously have not been so hard. This one's just really confusing. This one's really got me stumped. trying to overlap them to see if it makes any sense but like honestly when you overlap them like this it it doesn't really help get any any of the images all that clear huh slurp slurp yum yum okay i'll take i'll do taking a drink of the liquid nit- the quote-unquote liquid nitrogen. I keep- I'm going to keep saying quote-unquote just to make sure people understand. Don't actually drink liquid nitrogen. <sighs> slurp slurp yum yum. Thank you, thank you. Gotta stay hydrated. <sighs> I'm so happy this isn't timed. Why not? Why not what? Why not what? I am confused. What? Why not what? Okay. There has to be a tricky way to solve it. Yeah. What was the way I had them? I had this one at the end. Because I feel like I'm close. I feel like... I feel like this is close. There's got to be something I'm missing here. This is close. Why no drink liquid nitrogen? Because it will freeze your insides. Don't do it. <laughs> I may not be a chemist, but I at least know not to drink liquid nitrogen. <laughs> huh.
dies of inner frostbite again? What do you mean by again? <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna click this thing. I wanna click it again, but I know they're gonna say it's wrong. I need to figure out how to fix that. I feel like this is really close. Cause like... How do I close this? Wait. Wait, that closes the gap? Is that it? No, that was it. Nice work. I was, I was so close. I literally just needed to shift the one, the, one of them, like just to, I just need to shift the two on the left, not one of them. I need to shift the two on the left more to the left. Okay. I was so close. Oh man, that took way longer than I really should have, didn't it? Sounds like it unlocked. Yeah. It's built on top of a little metal box. There's a book in here. Oh! A well-used book resembling a diary. It's locked with a strange metal device. Okay. Well, I guess we're not reading it. What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been writing. Is it a clue? I hope not. It's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. Okay. Liquid nitrogen to celebrate. Got, if you want me to take another swig of liquid nitrogen, it's gotta be the slurp slurp yum yum. Okay. Let's talk with Fifi about that diary. Oh my gosh, that took so long. Trying to solve that key. Hello, Fifi. I want to ask you about your A diary. Book. My book. And what's in it? Pages. Okay, never mind. That was not helpful. I also want to talk with Fitz about Fifi to see what Fitz has to say because it sounds like they're not on good terms. Fifi doesn't like me. Oh. What did you do? I'm not sure. If you find out, maybe you can let me know. Okay, so Fitz, Fitz wants to get along with Fifi, it sounds like. It's Fifi and Freya. Don't you think Poppy should be in the photo, too? Maybe. Maybe not. She doesn't really like crowds. Two people isn't a crowd. Right. But if she was in the photo, then it'd be three. Check. Mate. Okay. Freya's best work, in my opinion. Although, the photo doesn't carry the same energy as the real thing. What do you think it's a painting of? What do you mean? Like, what's the subject matter? What's that big red thing? Oh, I don't think it's that kind of painting. Okay, so he thinks it's more abstract, like an emotion. Looks like someone doesn't want you to read that book. That's the main thing making me want to read it. <laughs> okay, Grimoire. Penelope knows about birds. You should ask her instead. Actually, okay. I wanted to ask you about something. There's a plant mentioned on this page, see? Do you have any? In the greenhouse? No, I don't grow that anymore. Anymore. In the past. Oh. It's incredibly difficult, even for me. Okay. I could never get it to live more than a couple of weeks. Interesting. Okay, I also want to show that book to Flora. Because Fifi said that's Flora's book. Have you seen this book before? Do you know who it belongs to? Okay. Flora's still not talking, so this isn't really helpful. I really thought she was going to say something there. Yeah, I was hoping so, because it was her book. Okay. Never mind. Flora ain't telling us anything. Um, I do want to take a look at that family banner again. This one? What is that? I think it's a family tree. Okay. So we have Lord Fellow, Lady Fellow. Uh, who we now know, uh, or do we, wait. Uh, okay, so we have Lord Fellow, Lady Fellow, Flint, Felix, Fitz, Freya, Uh, 
Okay, so Fiona is Fifi. Okay. And Fifi's parents are Flora Remington and Felix Fellow. So Lord Fellow, Lady Fellow were like the uh, the ancestors. So that's where Fitz comes in because it's an uncle. And Freya was the granddaughter to them as well. Interesting. Felicia Fellow, Damien Dust. Oh! Oh, what happened? So, Lord Fellow, Lady Fellow, Lord Fellow had an either an affair or a second, like, just second family of some in some way with someone named Selena Stonetop. They had Felicia Fellow. Freya is the daughter between Felicia and Damien. Okay. Okay. That's why Freya and Fiona are able to be the same age. And so, the... Remingtons are related to the Pointers in the sense that Flora's sister, I'm guessing, Primrose here, married into the Pointer family. Okay. Interesting. Who of these Pointers, I'm wondering, is the professor? Is it, I'm guessing it's Percival? Percival Pointer, I'm guessing, is the professor. Okay. This is very, very interesting. Man. We're gathering quite the list of suspects, and also quite the list of just... Not all of it's necessarily evidence, but we're, we're getting a lot of uh, good clues. Okay. So we've explored... I do need to check out this room because there's someone there that I haven't talked to. But we've explored the flora... Or not the flora. The fellow tower. Uh, next, we should... Next time, we should explore the pointer tower. I'm saying next time because we are getting to the three-hour mark. And I unfortunately actually do have to, I don't, I'm not going to end early, but so that we have, we're going to be able to do some chatty chatty time afterwards, I am going to end the gameplay part of the stream here. But yeah, man, this story, this game is so interesting. I'm loving it so far. It's very intriguing. I currently am really suspecting it to be Poppy. Poppy, based off of everything we learned, it seems Poppy has grown very distant. And it seems like th there's some sort of falling out that happened between Freya and Poppy. But yeah, this is very, very, very interesting. I'm loving it so far. Okay. So we will be ending the... This, uh, we'll be ending here for today. Um, and we will continue next week. Or, well, no, sorry, not next week, because next week, next weekend, I unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, next weekend, I won't be able to stream, uh, due to, uh, just, I got some stuff going on in my personal life next week that I have to attend to. Um, but the week after, we will continue this. I am loving this so far. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 